Hello there, fight friends. Andy Cotter with MMA.ca here in Kitchener, Ontario with the gentleman, Josh Hill. Josh, thanks for speaking with us. Yeah, man, no problem. So we just had a little quick chat. So you're a week away, seven days from now, you're going to be fighting in Sioux City Falls, South Dakota at Bellator 298. Uh, tell me how you're feeling right now, a week out. I feel good. I feel good. Uh, it, this one came up kind of quick. Uh, it was a short notice one, but I, I was training, you know, staying ready. And uh, I just, like I said, I want to get fights in while I can. And, and the opportunity came up and... You know, it sucks it's back in South Dakota. I've been there before, there's not much to see. I saw the whole city in like 30 minutes, but uh, whatever, it's a business trip and uh, I'm just gonna go and, and uh, have some fun in there and, and uh, you know, get to have another fight, man. Yeah, nice. Well, it, I, I apologize because just before we started chatting, I double checked like three times the name of your opponent and I told myself I'd remember it and I can't remember his name. Do you remember his name? Uh, Kazim Kazimov. Kazim Kazimov, that's right. You know, so he's a young- Something of, you know. Yeah, I know. Yep. So he's a young up-and-comer, up 14-1 record against your 22-5. and five. Tell me your thoughts on this guy as an opponent. He's good. You know, he's good. Yeah, he's got a good record. Um, he's, you know, that typical Dagestani type fighter. You know, a lot of pressure, a lot of heavy wrestling, grappling. Uh, very good top position. Um, so that's what I expect from him, you know what I mean? I think he's good, uh, but I don't think he's fought anybody of my caliber yet. So, um, yeah, I'm, that's that's my game plan, just to show him that, you know, there's, there's a levels and I'm the next. Yeah, you did mention the things that he's proficient at that he's known for, but those are exactly the things that you're known for as well. So, like, that should cancel it out plus more for you, right? Yeah, yeah, we'll see. You know, like, I, I, I'm, I'm comfortable wherever it goes, you know, and, you know, I think I know where he's going to want it, um, but that's fine. I, I'm, I'm comfortable even if it does go there. So, yeah, man, it's just, it's exciting. It's another tough test, but all my fights are tough at this level you know so you've been in the fight game for a long time you're probably one of canada's most well-known fighters probably in the top top five for sure uh where are things going from here after this next fight fight by fight man fight by fight i don't know what the hell is going on with bellator too right now with all the talks of them being bought um so i don't know that's that's another reason why i wanted to hop on something while i could because in a couple months from now i could be it could be under the pfl banner it could be something yeah. else it could be nothing could be out of a job right so i wanted to hop on it you know as quickly as i could because the future is unknown yeah uh how many f if they do continue as Bel under the beltor banner how many fights do you have left in your contract uh, i have two left so this will be uh, one more after this one yeah nice. yeah so if it does go ultimately to a pfl beltor combination of some type uh you'd be in that sort of possibly that million dollar pool uh have you those thoughts thrown through your mind about uh fighting for that kind of prize they haven't no uh, you know but if it if it does great that'd be that'd be awesome i missed out on the grand prix for bellator there uh yeah, yeah. which sucks i would have loved to be in that one but yeah if, if that happens then hell, hell yeah man i'm down so let's uh, move away from your fighting career for a moment and talk about your commentating career. As the fans can see, uh, we're sitting here in the cage at, at B, uh, uh, BTC 21 in Kitchener, and uh, you've been doing this for quite a while now. I've been to every event I come to, you're sitting there cage side, you've got a dapper suit on, and you're smiling and talking into the camera. So how's that going for you? It's, it's fun. You know, I love it. I did, I kind of just fell into this one, one day. I filled in for, for Robin Black was doing a show, and like he was late, and so like, yeah, can you jump in? I'm like, sure. And I, and I liked it. I, you know, I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. So um, this, you know, me, me and Jay have been doing BTC for I don't know how long now, yeah. a lot, majority of the shows. And uh, I really enjoy it. Get the best seat in the house, watch fights, analyze fights, kind of break it down, uh, tell people what's going on in the cage that, you know, don't really know the mechanics of things. And, and yeah, man, I, I love doing it. I want to continue doing it. Yeah, well, and that sounds fantastic, too, because you see the fighters, or I guess not even necessarily fighters, but the personalities in mixed martial arts, the ones who have longevity, long-term success, after they stop fighting somewhere down the line, they find other ways to make, to make their, their skills useful, and you're doing that right now, so I think that's terrific for you. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, you know, I'm 36 now, I'm getting older, I'm not going to be fighting forever, so I want to I wanna stay involved in the sport afterwards, and you know, I'm doing this, I want to continue that. I'm getting into management now, I want to continue with that and, and build guys up and, and help their careers grow, and I'm still coaching, of course. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, my life's intertwined with this sport, you know, one way or another. Yeah, so I saw that you're now the Canadian rep for your management company. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, you know, like, I, I was kind of unofficially managing guys already, and I just talked to my, my manager, Brian Butler, for Sucker Punch, and I'm just like, you ever guys thought about having, like, a, you know, a Canadian rep out here because they don't have that? And he was, like, on board with the idea right away. He's like, yeah, that'd be amazing. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm just trying to slowly build guys up and then, you know, help them locally and regionally sh regional shows like with BTC and then when it's time I can use the connections and resources of Sucker Punch to sure. kind of propel them to the next level. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, tell us about some of your up-and-comers under your stable. 
You know, I got tonight. We got Gino Galapardes. You know, he's looking to get back in here. He's a you know prospect at 125. Uh, Liam Gallagher, I mean Amalik, who's in here tonight as well. Um, you know, Cam Nelson. He's out, out and out East fighter. A lot of promise welterweight. So there's lots of guys we're kind of slowly building up that stable. Uh, and there's many more that you know that'll be up the be up very soon. Nice. Good to hear. Well, I wish uh, those fighters that you're managing the utmost success. I wish you good luck in Bellator next week, and I wish you uh, a great and fun time tonight at PTC 21. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Okay. All right, there you go, fight fans. Josh, the Gentleman Hill at PTC 21 Kitchener. Talk to you later.